All right, so for some reason, one by one, these capacitors are failing. They're 250 volt capacitors. Uh, they don't have a polarity. Um, so they should be good for an ignition coil circuit. Primary side voltage, I'm feeding 12 volts. Disconnect jumps up to about 100 volts. So these are rated for 250 volts, so they should not have a single problem. This relay here, all this is doing is, uh, it's a coil in there as well but it's just switching on and off. And it works pretty well, but just not for very long. You see that spark over there? Now I keep doing that, but eventually one of these capacitors is just going to fail, randomly. This one already did. And this one... Yeah, I just let that one keep frying, and that's what happened to it. This one's going to go if I leave it on, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to hook it up and just see what happens. I'm just going to run it. I want to be able to shut it off though in case it goes bad. Alright, I'll set it up. Okay, I got it all set up. I had to readjust my uh, feed circuit on the relay. Use the capacitor for the timing. Alright, let's see how long it lasts. This is just 12 volts on and off to this in parallel with the coil. So you get a, a jump voltage of like 100 volts. And I guess that gives you the long enough duration of voltage to give you a spark on the secondary side. So let's see how long it lasts. Or one of these blows up. Oh, cutting out. Uh-oh, we got the smoke. Oh geez, oh man, on fire. Now it's working again because that one is open circuit. So now one is out of the game. Until another one of these goes short circuit, we'll be alright. Now you can't see that spark too well, but it's that spark. Uh oh, here we go again. Another one failed. Oh no, one of my leads melted. Maybe just for giggles we'll put this one, which started to fail on there just to see it fail alright jump bird oh, we got another one going up nope oh, still shorted oh we got another one alright so now they're up both of those are open so we got spark again. Now we're only running off, what, eight capacitors? See that one broke right open. Alright. What's left seems to be working pretty good. I don't know how long it'll take that though. Should be forever, but yeah, that didn't work out so well. These ones that are remaining might actually be pretty good. I'm gonna spread these out just in case that one more goes. It doesn't wreck the other ones. Some of them are a little burnt and smoky. Uh, let's see, that's only eight right now. I'm supposed to have ten in the circuit, but I've already blown up three, so I got one more new one. Let's just toss it over here randomly. Keep it away from the other ones. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, my spark gap's too big, that's what happened. Okay. Oh god. Alright, that one was shorted and now it's open again. There's another one gone.
Back down to 8 again. Oh god, here we go, another one. There we go, another one shorted and open again. You can see it's arcing a little bit. Alright, now we're down to what, 7? Seven capacitors left. Oh god. That was another one. A little slower this time. Alright. Now we're down another one. Uh oh. Another one already? Yep. Alright, let's see. It's main 12 volt supply. These are my on off wires. Something's warm to the relay. Yeah, the relay is pretty warm. Let's see. I'm surprised it even lasted as long as it did. Obviously, this is nice and warm. Alright, so here's the carnage. That's what's left. See that? That one down there is good. That first one here is good. It looks kind of black just because these other two burned. So, yeah, these two burned up. Next one appears fine. Uh, the next after that looks fine. This one is kind of interesting. Kind of just this. this one just like kind of broke both with leads and sunk down. That was kind of weird. Next one after that, yeah, that one blew up too. And this last one over here is one seems okay. Yep, one by one. So what do we got left? We got one, two. Three, four, f five. Five left out of twelve I've had total. So it's not looking good for 250 volt rated capacitors. I don't have an oscilloscope to see what the voltage is actually jumping up to, but what you're seeing on this is the voltage jump from the primary side of this ignition coil. And the secondary side is uh, going straight to ground which is over here, this is going straight to the battery. So, yeah. so about 100 volts. That's as usual with the spike voltages on those. 250 volt capacitor shouldn't fall apart like that on up to 100 volt spike. That's why you buy these high rated capacitors so they can handle that, but no, these aren't. That's something else. This, this thing has a lot of spike voltage. I don't know. Shouldn't though. But that's it for now. I might continue this later. Probably not. Obviously this circuit is a failure. It was kind of interesting to see one by one them failing. Randomly as they do. Gotta try to figure out why these went. I'm assuming they're just cheap capacitors. I'm not a big electronics guy, but um, as far as I'm aware, these should handle what I've been putting them through. So, I don't know. I'll pick this up later or something else if I figure it out.